Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the weekend. Yes, it's the weekend and the week ahead brought to you exclusively by Flyer in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Uh, wow, chilly day out there today. Um, and it's going to be pretty mixed actually as we go through the course of this weekend. So this is how I think things are going to shape up. Actually showery on Friday, best on Saturday. Some rain on Sunday coming through, then mixed next week. So I certainly think uh, Friday and Saturday are going to be the best of the days. Now, weather schools are full at the moment, but I'm taking names and email addresses to notify as soon as I announce new course dates. So if you want to be added to that list, go to weatherschool.co.uk, go to contact us and use the contact form. And just let me know on there um, that you want me to let you know as soon as this course dates are announced. Of course, it's getting close to Christmas, so there's loads in the Weather School shop. Um, you can buy gift vouchers for the online courses. You can buy gift vouchers for the classroom-based courses. And of course, we have my Pocket Weather Forecaster book and also my WeatherWise DVD, perfect presents for Christmas. So um, if you want to get your orders in early, um, for the person in your life who loves weather, um, then now is your chance. If you're one of those people who plan Christmas really early, how, how do you do that? Um, then this is your chance. Go to the Weather School shop, loads and loads of things in there for you. OK, so this is how things shape up. Not that one. Let's go back a bit. Oh, there we go. Going awfully well. Uh, this is how things shape up for uh, Thursday. We've got low pressure off towards the west. Heavy showers are going to be affecting much of western and southern Ireland, much of western and central parts of the UK, and up through northwestern parts of England and southern parts of Scotland. Um, for the east, yes, one or two showers still. Um, outbreaks of showery rain across southeastern parts of England, dry across central and northern Scotland, generally fair here, but those frequent blustery showers out towards the west. Now, on to Friday. Low pressure is going to be swinging through southern England. And as that goes eastwards, it takes some pretty hefty showers or longer spells of rain with it. Further showers getting on to northeastern coasts of Scotland and into the west of Scotland and the north and the west of Ireland. Some of these quite heavy at times. Drier through central and southern areas, fewer showers across Wales. So actually what we're looking at is flyable conditions across many areas, just non to marginal in these places where the showers go through. 3,000 foot bases, 12,000 foot tops generally, but we could be down to 1,000 to 2,000 feet with tops at 20,000 feet and some cunims in these heavy showers across southern England, across western Scotland, northern Ireland and northeastern Scotland as well. Now Saturday, wheat ridge of high pressure building in. We do one or two showers down these eastern coast, but generally it is going to be a fair Day. Morning mist and fog patches, they will clear away quickly and then the day should be very pleasant. Base is 4,000 feet, tops at about 8 to 10,000 feet. Cloud is going to increase from the southwest though during the afternoon as this front gets closer. And that sets us up then for some rain on Sunday. Now, a lot of uncertainty over Sunday. Rain at the moment looks like it gets through Ireland, through Wales, through central southern parts of England. But don't be surprised if this forecast doesn't change further, jumps around all over the place. 1,000 foot bases in the rain, tops about 15,000 feet. Some mist, some hill fog affecting western and southern coasts and hills, while across Scotland and northern England and northern Ireland, uh, here conditions are better. 3,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. But that rain is encroaching, and as I say, lots of uncertainty on that just at the moment. Um, excuse me while I sort out the cumulus canine, who is currently trying to eat a cable. Bear with me for just one moment. There we are. That's better. Awfully professional, isn't it? Uh, Monday looks like this. Another band of rain coming eastwards on Monday. Again, lots of uncertainty in it. Exactly where that rain is going to be. Eastern areas tending to be drier and brighter. Western areas seeing most of that rain. Non VFR as the rain comes in and bases of around 1,000 to 2,000 feet with the tops at around 15 to 18,000 feet. Better in the west, probably flyable but cloud increasing later on. And then Tuesday, um, fronts again kind of encroaching from the southwest through Tuesday. More outbreaks of rain coming through. In between the fronts, probably flyable, two, 3,000 foot bases. But along the fronts, 1,000 foot bases, 15 to 20,000 foot tops. And quite a mobile situation through Thursday as that front moves eastwards, ahead of another area of low pressure developing through Wednesday, 
pushing its way eastwards, bringing some heavy bursts of rain. So lots of uncertainty in the timing, really, from Sunday onwards of when these rain bands arrive. It does look as if it goes pretty unsettled. Jet stream over the top of us. So I think the unsettled weather is there. The question is, deciding on where it's going to be and where the rain is going to be heaviest. I think for flying, it's not brilliant. Looks like it's locals, uh, local flights only. Um, but of course, we'll keep you updated throughout. OK, I will leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Have a fabulous weekend. Don't forget to go to weatherschool.co.uk for all your Christmas gifts. And also, don't forget, you can do my online pilot's guide to skew teas um, instantly. That is available now. It takes about three hours online. And um, I'll show you everything you need to know about skew tea diagrams, about the bases, about how you forecast cloud tops, winds at different levels, whether it's going to be rain, whether it's going to be showers. This really is the course that every pilot should do. And of course, use the contact form to let me know um, that you want me to let you know when my latest online course and my live classroom course are going to be. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.